find me at all Cause where you go is where I go Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to another daily vlog. I'm so glad you're here. Um, I'm doing daily vlogs right now, vlogging our family and our life. Um, everything, like all the timestamps will be down below if you want to skip around. But it's a beautiful day. We're going to have a great day carrying you guys with us today through everything. Um, it's already almost 11 o'clock. I, I don't know where the mornings are going, but they're going by like so fast. School's back in session. The kids were out yesterday because of the snow. School's back in session, so it was a little bit hard to get them up this morning. Well, Nate was up. It was hard to get Lucy up. She was very tired. So I'm hoping they have a really good day. We got them to school. I've been doing a little bit around the house. Not much. I need to do more. Um, and then I went ahead and got a shower and blue dry my hair and all of that fun stuff. And right now we're getting ready to go just get out of the house a little bit. David hasn't been out of the house in days. It was just, it's been kind of like, you know, when you feel like the walls are closing in on you, you know? So we're going to go out. Where do we always go? when We have nothing else to do. Walmart. We're going to let Mark run around. He hasn't been out even just as long as David. Um, so we're just going to get some fresh air for a few minutes. You want to say hi? Hi. How are you? Hi. His hair is <laughs> great. <laughs> um, so we're going to go walk around Walmart, just get a little bit of energy out. And also, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking when I bought Mark's underwear, his big boy underwear, but I wasn't thinking because I bought him size 2T to 3T and they are way too, way too tight on him. And, um, especially as they've been washed at first they were fine, but as they've been washed several times, they're just way too small. Um, the Walmart brand or the wonder nation brand are a little bit looser. So I think I'm going to buy the wonder nation. They're cheaper anyway, and get them in a bigger size. So he'll have some underwear that fit him. So we're going to get that. We're going to look around, just kind of walk around. Um, not really a lot of plans for today. I'm trying to kind of get back into the routine of laundry and housework. We're washing our sheets, just kind of freshen up the house a little bit. I'm planning on making readables for dinner. So we're excited about that. But of course you guys come with us today. It's going to be a great day. Um, Mark's got his cars lined up over there. We just appreciate all of you and all of your love and support. We really feel your prayers and, um, we're just so thankful for you. So anyway, <laughs> Marky, what are you doing? He's he's making all this the truck sound effects. But anyway, we are about to head to Walmart. Do you guys want to come with us and watch Mark run around Walmart? Come on, we'll take you. Okay, so Mark had so much fun running around Walmart. He made all of the um, ladies that were shopping in there. We ran into a lot of like grandmother type ladies and they were just getting a kick out of him. He made a lot of people smile. <laughs> um, one of the ladies that was working there was like, oh, this is such a good idea to let him run when there's snow outside. I'm like, yeah, he loves it. Um, I think he liked looking at like just random stuff just as much as the toys. We looked at cleaners and food and flowers and all kinds of stuff. And then of course we ended with the toys. He was not too happy about leaving, but he did really good. Um, we got him some new underwear, so that's good. Um, it's funny. They don't really make, I was hoping they would have like 3T to 4T. They have 2T in, in one brand. They had 2T to 3T. 
and then they had 4T to 5T. Well, then 2 to 3T are very tight, but he doesn't need 4 to 5T. And so the Walmart, like Wonder Nation ones fit him pretty good. So I got him another pack of those and we're just going to get rid of the, like the cute little Paw Patrol ones. They're way too tight, but I don't want to get him like a real big size, you know? So anyways, I'm sure probably as we, as we wash them, they'll be okay. But he doesn't really care. He's at the point now where he's really got it, a lot of it down and he doesn't really care about what's on his underwear. So that's good. <laughs> I think the Wonder Nature ones are way softer anyway. So we got that. Um, I'm making tacos for dinner. So I've got meat defrosting. I picked up another can of black beans because I realized we were completely out. And um, we've just been doing some stuff around the house. We got Mark lunch once we got home, we fixed, I fixed him some lunch, just like a snacky lunch. And then I laid him down. He's been in there like singing. I don't know if he's actually sleeping, but he's having some quiet time. Um, me and David have just been working on the computer a little bit today and doing some house stuff. Um, Nate just got home from school. Lucy will be home in about 30 minutes. So I've been sitting here. I actually filmed my very first Patreon video. I'm really excited about it. It is how to get started with intermittent fasting. Don't worry, all my videos are not going to be about intermittent fasting, but it is a question I get the most. How do I start? How do you do it? How do you go all day without eating? I give you all my tips over there on that video. So if you want to sign up for Patreon, it's all down below. I go into a lot more detail on yesterday's video if you want to check that out. Um, but this is such a great way for me to earn a little extra money and, you know, give you guys more content. So it's exciting. I'm so excited about it. So I got that uploaded. I'm still really new to Patreon, so be patient with me. I hope I'm doing everything right. Um, but it is up now. So any tier that you join, either the $3, $5, or $10 tier, bronze, silver, or gold, you will be able to see the videos, the bonus videos on any tier. So if you go ahead and join, that video is already up. You'll be able to have access to it. And then, um, you know, get to see my self talk about intermittent fasting and how much I love it and all my best tips and how I got started. So anyway, I did that and I've been working on some tax stuff. Taxes are so terrible. Does anybody like doing them? Um, and not that I earn a lot of money from YouTube because I don't, but, um, it is like a lot of like stuff you have to keep track of. Um, you know, business expenses. And because basically when you work for YouTube, it's like you're self-employed. Um, they don't take out taxes or anything. So you have to kind of keep track of what you're spending and for your business and, um, make sure you, you have receipts and all that. So it's just a lot. So I'm kind of working on that a little bit today. And there's really nothing else to report. It's been a very beautiful day. The sun is really starting to melt all that snow, which I'm kind of sad about. However, let's check. I heard a rumor that we're supposed to get more snow. I don't know if I believe it because they didn't even think we were going to get the snow we got. And then I heard somebody say, no, we're not really supposed to get snow, just in uh, like a wintry mix. It says winter weather advisory. Let's see. Um, from Wednesday, 12 a.m. until, so that's tonight. Um, let's see, one to two inches with locally higher amounts possible. So we will see, um, Southern Indiana and portions of North Central Kentucky. That's exactly where we are after midnight tonight into Wednesday morning. So, um, it says plan on slippery road conditions. Um, I know they sent home Nate's Chromebook today cause I figured they were <laughs> anticipating possible if there is any, you know, bad weather, they may have to go virtual again. So I saw that today they sent home the Chromebooks and they didn't over the weekend and it was hard. So, um, I'm really hoping for snow. I know you guys like to laugh at me because, you, you know, most people hate snow that live up north, but we're from Alabama, y'all. So this is like magical. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like magical time and maybe one day we'll be back in Alabama and we won't have snow. So I'm just trying to like soak it up. I would love, to, and everybody's asking like, are you going to move back home? We don't know where we're going to move. We're really leaving it open to God where he wants to send us. I would love to move closer to home. I really would. But with what we do, you just don't know. Um, so I, while we're living somewhere that gets snow, I'm like soaking it all in because I just love it. 
of course, we don't have a job that makes us go out in it. You know, we don't have to like travel in it and stuff like that. If that was the case, then I would probably not like it very much longer. But I get to like bundle up inside and just watch it out the window and it's so pretty. So we'll see. Make sure you stay tuned tomorrow. You'll get to see if we get any snow. I mean, all of our snow is still not melted, but we could get more. And it's, I mean, it really is starting to melt a lot because the sun has been out, but it's still like in the thirties, uh, but no, it's 44 right now. So yeah, it's starting to melt a lot. But anyway, um, I don't think there's anything else to tell y'all. Everything has just been kind of business as usual today. I'm really trying to just get back into a routine. I'm not quite there. I haven't walked in a few days. I actually thought about about an hour ago going and walking, but I really needed to get some work done. So it's probably not going to happen today. And then tonight I'm going live, which you guys probably saw a few days ago. Um, and I'm really excited about that, but I want to make sure my work is done so that I can be free to go live tonight. So, you know, I'm really trying not to stress out about all this walking and like, you know, it is what it is. Um, it's, it's fun when I can, but I'm not going to stress out if I have a week where I don't get to walk a lot. Um, it just, it is what it is. You know, that's what we like to say. We always say that it is what it is. <laughs> you can't change it. You know, and I, I appreciate all of you who are like, you are so strong. You are amazing. I don't feel strong all the time. I really don't. I feel like I have not handled this as best as I could. Um, you know, I've been scared and I've been afraid and I don't know what you guys are going through right now. I know everybody always has stuff they're going through. Um, you know, our weakness in our weakness, he's made strong. So if I look strong at all, it's because God's working through me. Um, and I'm leaning on him because I don't feel strong. You know, when we go through hard things, we think we, you know, we should just be like the most perfect Christian and never even doubt and never even struggle, but it's okay to be weak. It's okay to lean on him. And that's just what I'm trying to do, even though, you know, there's a lot of unknown and as a type, a control freak, I really feel like God is trying to teach me not to be that way. Like I need to trust him. And if I had everything controlled <laughs> and perfect, like I wouldn't need God. And so I'm really trying to just rest in him. Like he has never let us down and he won't. And, um, you know, that's all anyone, anyone can do, no matter what you're going through, no matter if you're having a good day, a bad day, any kind of day, you know, you don't have to pretend to be the strongest person in the world. You know, in our weakness, he's made strong. And a lot of people say like, God won't give you more than you can take. But I like to say, God won't give you more than it's not that God won't give you more than you can take because you can't take a lot. Um, but with him in him, you can take a lot more. So the two of you together, that's where the strength is. If we try to do it all on our own, we will fail. We will fail. We will be miserable, be scared. Um, and you know, we forget sometimes we have God of the universe on our side, like in our situation, working on our behalf, we have, the one who created it all, you know, and there's perfect peace in that. So we are really just leaning into that. And I pray again, I appreciate all the love and support. I truly do. Um, it's amazing because I, I knew a lot of people would support us, you know, but I had no idea the hundreds of people and I feel like all of your prayers, I totally feel it. So anyway, I'm going to go back out here and hang out with Nate for a little bit. He, <laughs> He came off the bus and he had on a totally different outfit, like different shirt, different pants. Cause I always pack him and change of clothes. Cause he likes to change clothes. If anything happens to them, if anything gets on his clothes, he wants a change of clothes. So I always give him a change of clothes, but he came off and everything was changed. I'm like, what is going on? He never has everything, you know? So I read his um, teacher's note and she said that he went to the gym and he got really sweaty or not. I don't even know if it really sweaty, but he got sweaty and he had to go change because he couldn't take it. <laughs> I'm like, Nate, <laughs> he was wearing long pants and I guess like a sweater. So I guess running around the gym, he probably did get sweaty. So he had to go change. <laughs> we like to say Nate likes to have a fashion show. He likes to just have a fashion show, but he seriously cannot take any wetness on his clothes. Like the sensory is like too much. So I'm like, you know what? I can do laundry. No big deal. So Anyway, I'm glad that he got into non-sweaty clothes, but it's just funny because I'm like, I wonder if like the, you know, 
we was hopping over the snow in the driveway this morning. I thought, oh man, if he gets his clothes wet right now, we are going to be having to change in the bus. But I guess he didn't. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys back at dinner tonight. Um, I was going to do burrito bowls, but now I'm thinking about just straight up tacos. Like soft tacos sound really good to me. So I think we're going to do soft tacos. And that'll be honestly easier. I won't have to make rice. We have tortillas. Just kind of brown the meat. And then it's done. So Mark should be happy because he loves taco meat. Knock on wood. <laughs> I'll see y'all back in a little bit. All right, you guys, real quick. Nate ate everything. And let's see about Lucy. Oh, she did not eat very much. She's got a lot of stuff left. Um, not really sure what that about is about. She did tell me this morning her stomach was a little bit upset, but she hasn't said anything since she's been home. So I don't know. I'll save this a lot of this stuff and I'll serve it with her dinner and we'll see if we can get her to eat some more. Oh, all right, you guys. Hello, hello. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever. Um, the kids came home from school. I showed you their lunch boxes, and um, I made dinner, and it was very basic, just plain tacos. But I'll show you a. I'm my screen's being crazy. That's why the light is up and down. Um, uh, I'll show you a picture of our of my plate. It's just soft tacos with beef, cheese, lettuce, sour cream, taco sauce. Honestly, you guys, I did a short today and the, the only thing I had all day was the plate of tacos. I just, I just have not felt like eating very much. I just don't feel hungry. Um, I feel like food has lost its taste. When you are going through stress, I'm curious, are you a person that eats or are you a person that like can't eat? Um, I feel like I used to be a person that eats during stress, but I'm kind of turning into like, I don't feel like eating, you know? Um, I've been doing okay this week, but I think it just all, all has caught up to me. And I just, I don't know. I just didn't feel like eating anything. So I was like, you know what? I can make myself eat and I can push it, but I kind of feel nauseous or I can just stop eating and not eat anything else. So I had a very small meal. I mean, it was three soft tacos, but that's all I had all day. So it was kind of strange. I usually eat way more than that. Um, a lot of people who do fasting do up and down days and they vary how much they eat or they'll eat nothing one day and then a bunch the next day. So I don't think it'll hurt anything for me to have a slower day. Um, it is what it is. Like I wasn't going to force the issue, but, um, Lucy, and also I could be getting a little stomach thing because Lucy has not felt good all day. She, I showed y'all her lunch. She barely ate that. This morning she told me her tummy was upset, um, but I just thought it was because we were getting up early. She's not been used to getting up early, and sometimes she, she gets nauseous a lot when she wakes up early, and she wasn't an extreme, like she didn't throw up. She didn't have diarrhea, nothing like that. She just said that her tummy was hurting. Um, but then she didn't eat really any dinner either. She ended up eating some honeycomb dry, some dry honeycomb cereal, but I've, like, that's all she's had all day. So it was really weird. I think she must, must have a little something. So it could be that maybe I'm coming down with something. Um, I don't know, <laughs> but right now I'm getting ready to go live here on the channel. So I will come back and tell you guys how it went. I hope, um, some people come and join me to get this. This really does help me to like connect with others and, um, get my mind off of situations. I wish I could be more patient. I wish I could just trust that everything is going to work out. But today I've been a little bit stressed and I don't know why, like why is it comes in waves. Sometimes I feel really strong. Sometimes I don't. So today has just been kind of our day. Nothing in particular. It just, it feels hard. It feels heavy. Um, a lot of it I think is because my house is an absolute mess and I got to get a handle on that. Um, and that'll kind of help me feel better. I think. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm doing, I really am doing okay. It's just, it's a hard season. We're just in the middle of a hard season. So anyway, I'm going to go live and I will come back and let you guys know how it went. Hey guys. Oh. Okay, I just finished the live and I could just cry because this has been a hard day for me. I don't know why nothing's nothing else has happened Not you know, but I just been kind of discouraged and when I feel like this I should just go live because you guys are amazing. You cheer me up We had so much fun. We talked about everything under the sun and I just I really do appreciate you and you always turn my frown upside down, you know, so thank y'all We will definitely be doing this again
definitely, definitely next week. So stay tuned. I'm not sure what day it'll be, probably Tuesday or Thursday, um, but I'll let you know, uh, depending on what we have going on. And um, thank you all for hanging out with me today. If you are interested in checking out my Patreon page, that will be linked down below. Bonus content, extra lives, shout outs, all kinds of stuff will be there where you can um, have like a membership and it will get new bonus content. Um, and I'm still kind of figuring out more fun things we could do over there. So if you go ahead and subscribe, there already is a video for you to watch. Um, I talk about intermittent fasting. If you're interested, there's a whole video on how to start. I think I already told you all this, how to start intermittent fasting, how I would recommend. And um, that's going to be it for today. I am going to go to bed. I would usually edit a video before I go to bed, but y'all, it's 10 o'clock and I am tired. So I'm going to save this lovely editing until tomorrow, but I'm going to go to bed and uh, we'll see how much snow we get. I heard from the school that they're just going to wait and see. Did I tell you guys this? They're going to wait and see what the weather's like. Um, so I'm gonna have to wake up. They said between five and six in the morning, they'll make the decision. I'm like, well, I guess I'm getting up early. Um, I guess I could wake up at six and just check it. If there is school that I'll have to get up and get lunches made and all that. And if we've been canceled, then I can maybe sleep in a little bit. So we'll see. Stay tuned for tomorrow and we'll let, we'll let you know what happens. But thank you all for all the love and support. If you like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you're new. We'll talk to y'all later.